Hey everybody, this is a very special edition of On One with Angela Rye. I know you don't recognize me just yet, but we'll prove um, authenticity <laughs> of people in just a moment. But first I want to introduce you to someone who's very, very special to me. It is none other than the master hairstylist and hair artist, I like to call him, Johnny Wright. He is joining hey us guys. today. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> He's joining us today to help us get through this coronavirus quarantine stuff with some hairstyles, and uh, he's about to help out your girl. Thankfully, this is someone who I know very well and has been in this head plenty of times, so we're going to get started. Yeah, that's your day, <laughs> Hey, Johnny, thank you so much for joining us. What are we going to do today? Of course. I have been doing nothing. <laughs> I've been quite enjoying this little quarantine, to be honest. You know, I've uh, been going out exercising because you can ride your bike and run, mm -hmm. staying my distance away from people, been cooking a whole bunch of good stuff. So it's me been too. fun for me. I've been um, cooking my you know, butt off. I can't talk about it completely, but as you do know, for the past two months, I was filming my new show. For VH1, yeah. I will be able to spill the beans real soon. But that was a lot of work. We shot 20 episodes, Woo. and then I went on vacation. And as soon as I got back, this happened. So I'm still on vacation. So it's wow. actually good for me. Okay. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> I'm glad we caught you at a good time. And um, unfortunately, everybody's being caught at a good or bad time, I guess we could say, um, because yeah. we're being told to sit still. So with that. Um, one of the things that I thought we could do is go through things to make sure we do our hair. Y'all, I haven't combed out my hair in like five days. So after Johnny okay. schools me on all these different ways I can do my hairstyle, my hair while I'm at the house, um, I'm going to make sure I wash it today too because it's been a good five days. So this is well, this yeah. is the situation, Johnny. What are we doing? That's one thing we don't want to do is not comb your hair. You want to make sure you're... Detangling your hair because your hair may get matted from laying down and stuff like that. I've been cheating. You make sure you comb it out, <laughs> comb it out gently um, with a wide tooth comb, and you can add some conditional. Use a spray bottle, put a little water on there as well too. So that yep, that comb is perfect. That comb is perfect. I use this. Um, and then just the, the exactly, I love those brushes as well too. So just make sure you don't. Cause listen, I've had situations where people were actually bedridden. For two months, and when they came to me, their Ooh. whole back of the head was in a lock, and I had to cut it all off. So you want to make sure you comb your hair, so we don't want to do that while we. Well, I'm at least washing it. I'm at least washing it every day. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's but good. I ain't been combing it every day. It's been like top knot. It's been like this every day. I'll do this, <laughs> and then make like go like that, and that's it. That's it. That was just cute, but it's it ain't combed. Like, like today, it took yeah. me 15 minutes to comb that out. But you know, your hair to me doesn't really get too tangly because I can always comb through your hair pretty easily. But I mean, for you, it's probably a lot of work, but it's, it's like so easy to me. Okay. <laughs> but listen, this is the thing I want to share with people though. You know, this is a perfect opportunity to maintain the health and focus on the health of your hair. You know, um, with this quarantine, it's not necessary to put a whole bunch of heat in your head. So you can put all those electric tools down. Although I do want to talk about some of my favorite tools um, that are out right now that I'm using, when, especially when I get back to work, I'll be using. But outside of that, for yourself, it's either good to do a cute high top, high knot ponytail, which I'll show you today, or if you got some wigs, throw a wig on, put your hair away, don't touch it at all. And I have a bunch of wigs to show you. I have three favorite places where I like to get my wigs from. My first one is Extensions Plus. You know, that's my all-time favorite. Everybody goes to... Helene over at Tennis Plus. My second one is Nappy Hair. Um, I told you about that before, Angela. You they have used amazing the textures. Yeah, it's amazing textures of hair because it's, it's, it's highly textured. It mimics, you know, African American hair so well. And it comes in different types of coils and curls and all those types of textures. And my last one is Indique. Indique just has amazing wigs and amazing textures. So all three of those are places where I get all of my stock, my wigs, and my extensions. So I have, I know we talked about wigs, we talked about, um, you said top knot, and we're going to do one more style. What's the other style we're going to do? Well, we're not going to do a style for that, but we're going to show people how to properly condition their hair, especially during this quarantining. 
and do a treatment. You can do a tooth treatment every week to really infuse the moisture in the hair, and it's called a steam treatment. If you don't have a hooded steamer at home, I'm going to show you how to do a hat steamer at home. Real easy. So, Johnny, but you're also known for a very sleek pony. So yes. I was thinking we could do that. Yes, we're definitely doing a ponytail for sure. Okay, so we do a pony, a wig, and a bun. Yes, yes, where, absolutely. So where are we starting? We'll do the wig first. Okay, huh? I got I got some over here. I'll show you which ones which ones I laid out. Because I, I tried to set this up in the bathroom, and that didn't work out too well. So I'm going to show you the ones that I got so you tell me which ones we're going to put on. Shout out to the Mandarin, because that's definitely y'all's hanger. That's one. This is your... This that was one, beautiful. But it's not, it is not done done, but that's that's one. And is then, that the one from Extensions Plus? Yeah, that's the one from Extensions Plus. It just look crazy, because... Beautiful. We washed it. Yeah, and, it looks great. And then this is the other one. You know you had that U-shaped piece from them. That's that one. Yeah, U-shaped wigs are great as well, too, but you know, you're going to have to leave your hair out on that one, so we're trying to put your hair away, so... Let's stay away from you stay, stay wig until we get back on the scene. Okay, and then <laughs> these are two more I have. These are not from Extensions Plus. But I think Sim made these. Um, but there's this one. Yeah, and that's then, beautiful. And then there's this one, this little bob-shaped one. I ain't never been able to put this one on right so it look okay. Oh. <laughs> oh Sim well, has very nice. Well, let's go with that one. If that's a full wig and you've never done it before, let's play with that one. Okay, well, here's the thing. Now, how this hair going to get in this? Now, that's the trick, right? <laughs> so, you don't have to actually do the whole entire thing. So yeah. I'm going to walk you through it on how it's done. Mm -hmm. So, what, what I typically like to do, you know that I'm a big fan of making the hair look as natural as possible, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like a wig to look like a wig. I want it to look like it's still coming out the scalp, and I don't want you to be clocked, especially on a red carpet. So, what I like to do is take a thin layer of your natural hairline out. It's a thin layer. And I'm talking about just the slightest amount. And if you can see, if I can show you how small that is, I'll bring this closer to the neck. No, I can see. I'm but, trying to make sure you can see mine while I do this. This look amazing. Yeah, you want to go a little thinner than that. Oh, hell. Let me, I need We're to get a, a thinner, I need a thinner rat tail. And the other thing I need is for my, my picture to be bigger. Because uh, this is, um, uh, it ain't working. Anyway, hold on, let me see. <laughs> I'm trying to make it bigger. Oh, that's a little better. I don't know why I didn't have that. Okay, that's a little better. My little picture. You beat me, Johnny. Well, while we're doing this, let me ask you, sister. Oh, that might work. Okay. How about that? That's thin. You can go even thinner. Oh, hell, Johnny. I can't see. I'm talking about, like, way less than a half an inch. But I can't see that well on this. I would say that the thinner, the better. Because the thinner you get it, the less hair you have to worry about, but you still have that natural hairline. I don't have no Johnny clips right here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get some hairpins. Okay, I got a question for you when I get back. Hold on. I'm about to go. Okay. Back. Um... Well, we talk about your time at the White House quite a bit. I want to know, um, given, so for those of you who do not know, Johnny Wright was um, Michelle Obama's hairstylist for all eight years, right? All eight years. All the eight years. All time. And Johnny, um, you know, has been highly sought after by so many. Not only is he, you know, this great hairstylist, he's also... Y'all should see him on a red carpet doing interviews. The dude is just entertaining. But um, <laughs> I was going to ask you, from your time in the White House, is that something that you look back on and you're like, I'm so glad I did that? Like, uh, oh, absolutely. And then absolutely. given right now, what would you do if Melania asked you to do her hair? You know, I've been asked that question a bunch of times. And because, and, and I know... This might be a, a, a weird um, answer for most people, but I have no hate in my heart for anyone. Mm -hmm. And because I have accepted so many people in my chair, I would probably say yes to do our hair. I would, because it's like, I can't imagine myself telling somebody no because of I don't believe into what their husband's saying or 
what their husband is doing. But it's not them. just her husband. You know, she said she did, she wanted Barack Obama to produce a birth certificate. Did you know that? Yeah, but you know how I look at that as like this. There have been, I've done thousands of women over my career. Thousands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have not agreed with some of the stuff that they said or some of the stuff that they did or even the way they choose to live their life. But they still had a seat in my chair to get mm -hmm. their hair done. I feel like, you know, for me as a stylist, you know, I keep my chair open to everyone. If you're not killing people or you're not they you know, are people, that's exactly what they do <laughs> and she got rid of barack obama's basketball court did you know that yeah i did know that the thing is is i know that probably is not gonna ever happen but um, oh, okay so you being diplomatic uh, but, you said what i said so you being diplomatic Talk about yeah, she got a seat it, in my chair but she ain't coming though <laughs> yeah right exactly she ain't coming she ain't coming so it don't matter Okay, so what was your favorite hairstyle you did? Oh, you got to tell me a new step? Here, let me do this. No, this is clip, I just clipped that out of the way. Just so you can see, that's the thin hairline. I'm, and I'm li it's literally just the hairline itself. That's all it is. Perfect. Excellent. That's, now, cute. that's my first coronavirus hairstyle. Now, here's the thing. Can you braid? Can I braid? Yeah. Johnny, what's the quick way to put the wig on? Like, I'm not no okay, master hairstyle. Way. The quick way is this. Quick way is to take all of this because you're just at home. Remember, you're just at home. Yeah. So you're not, it's not. It's not trying to keep it like way too secure, but you just want to look decent for your boo, especially if you, you know, quarantine with your boo. This would be a perfect way to look a little decent. You can have an in-house date there. night. Huh? It's in-house date night right here. In-house date night, and then put the rest of it in a ponytail in the back, at the very back. Oh, like down here. All the way at the bottom. Dang, and you know I went and got these pins and then left the doggone ponytail holder. I'd be back Now again. what you could do is put water on your hair to make it easier. You want me to do, am I doing a top knot though? Yeah, but I'm just saying to show you how to do this wig right quick. I'm gonna I'm I'm get it without the water. I'm gonna get it without the water. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ponytail down here. Are you doing a bun? It's a little tiny bun in the back, but you might have to do two buns in the back. You could, you could actually braid it once you get it in a ponytail. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought and you were gonna ask me if I could cornrow. I could do, I could braid like this, and I That's could fishbone braid. Did you know I could fishbone braid? <laughs> I didn't know that, but it's not necessary for this one. Uh, and that's okay. for <laughs> I'm just not saying. hidden. I'm, I'm and once I get done, I'll show you guys how I laid it flat in the back. Well, not flat, but just secured it. Okay, what was your favorite Michelle Obama hairstyle while she was in the way? It would have to be the Ch the Chinese state dinner when she had the all black on, mm -hmm. and I did the side and sweep it over to the side. It was a little longer. Yeah. We added a few pieces. It was beautiful. I loved that look on her. I just thought it was so unexpected mm -hmm. and unpredictable. Of, 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 and you never really seen a first lady look like that. So that was my favorite look for her. I'm about to try to look that up. I think I'm I pretty sure it was a Chinese state dinner. Okay. And then what is the one where you like, ooh, I don't know if I should have did that. Uh, I can't remember. It was a correspondence dinner. I did like these big curls on her. Well, you know, curls, you know, like tight curls on her. And I, I wasn't crazy about it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, to be honest, and I think a lot of people find it shocking, there was a lot of times I was like, oh, God, you know, um, what did I do? And then there was a lot of times I just absolutely loved it. So the thing about it is like, you know, as an artist, you know, you do hit and you miss. And when you're working every day, you just kind of get to go for it and not think too much about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the the most thing was just making sure that she was happy, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if you, you, you want to see my bun in the back? 
You did pretty good. Let me show you mine. You did good. It's a little big, but you see mine is like I mean, tucked in the I back. Have, do you remember how we started this? I had a whole fro. Yeah, you did. You did pretty good. Here, and then what's going to make it a little smaller is when you put this stocking cap over it. You're going to put it behind the hairline and place it over. This way it protects your hair a little bit. It's going to help you keep that wig in place. Okay. <clears throat> if you do have time, you can braid it down. Child, good night. And look like at how you that. got these little braids in between. Ain't nobody doing all that. <laughs> I don't even know I how to do those little you braids as in between. An option. I got to do that on somebody else's head. I can't do that on my head. Right, of course. So here goes the front of this wig, Johnny. Okay, you know all what right, else? Go. Oh, wait, I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. No. Here we go. So does your own wig have combs in the front of it? Yeah. Perfect. So you're going to flip those combs up. You can go underneath, and you're going to place it underneath the stocking cap and push back. And then pull down in the back. Ooh, hell, that's tight. Okay. Oh, that's way up there still. Hold on. Instant hair. That quick. But hold on, because what? Look. What's happening with this? Nothing. Now you go. It's actually good. Look at. I mean, you, it looks pretty good already. It does. Yeah. What's so this one little do, piece? Well, well, now you have to style it, right? And this is where you can use heat. I don't want to use no heat. Or wet it and and scratch it and use the diffuser Ooh. to curl it up. Here we go. I got some hair rules. Wavy mousse. Let me put that in there. Yeah, look at that. Look how quick you did that. That's easy. And your hair's put away. You ain't got to worry about it. Ooh. Now oh, you I got to take, take, take this down now. Take well, I'm down. following you. I'm following you, Dudley's. Come on. Dudley's. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so here's my other thing. I want to talk about the time where I was going to Miss Tina, Miss Tina's Wearable Art Gala. And yeah, we have been. I think by then we've been working together for a little while. A little we while. We should tell yeah. people. We didn't get the flow going. Huh? We didn't start getting the flow going. Yeah, we had, we had a real flow, and it was good. Oh, look at that. That was good. You got your water bottle. You can wet. You can wet the front of your hair and 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 create. Cause you have curls in your hair now, so your hair will curl up. Yeah. And also, what you do too, if you really just wanted it to blend. You can take a little bit of the, the wig and a little bit of your hair and then just two strands twist it and let it dry like that. Oh, okay. Come on here. Two strand twist and let it dry like that. And let it dry and then when you take it out, it'll be curly. Yeah. And you just take it and have that texture to it and then you it'll look just like the hair. Make sense? Okay. And then that 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 two strand twist and already came out. Okay, so we were we were t getting ready for wearable art gala. We gotta tell people how yeah. we met too, but we'll go back to that. But we we were getting ready for wearable art gala, and Johnny came to my door. This is the Wakanda themed wearable art gala. Johnny came to my door with feathers and twigs and <laughs> and 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 some some. Some uh, coiled metal stuff, coiled wire, wire, all that. And let me tell you guys where I did what I did. When Wait, I did let me coat. tell them how I was <laughs> acting first. So I was like, Johnny, what are you doing with all that? And then he was like, Let me show you my inspiration. And he pulled out this picture of this white lady with this one little gel piece of something that was like this. And I was like, Johnny, what are you doing? We can't do it. And he was like, <laughs> Trust me trust me and i was like this is crazy it's gonna look bad it's crazy and y'all that was the best thing we gonna make sure we put that picture up for this video too but that that was the best hair i mean you know i'm not was not queen b but i was running toe to toe with queen b that day that hair was good <laughs> we killed that and johnny was like come over here and show my friends because i killed this so i sure did my show it was good the thing about it is, is what, what a lot of people don't understand is when you're when you have a picture for inspiration, it's really just that inspiration. Well, I didn't it's know. not exact. Yeah. And you know, we had just we had worked together, but before that, it was like just glam and beauty, but not 
like not creative and artistic not art, and I'm yeah. like, God. So that's what I was like, just trust me on this. And and um I remember the one thing you said, which I think is still beautiful to this day. You was, I, I was like, you told me you trust me. You was like, you was like, yeah, but that doesn't mean my trust isn't flawed. And I was like, that's actually a real way to look at it. That's and a word. Also be compassionate to somebody's like, you know. But the, the thing is with that, what I've always done with my whole career is I've always gone to craft stores for inspiration. Yeah. I would go to Michael's or Frank's or even an art store and just walk around and see what inspires me or what I could probably use or manipulate into a hairstyle. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened that time. I went there and I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought styrofoam balls. I bought wire. I bought those twigs. I bought little flowers. I bought feather. Everything you could think of. And then when I finally saw the inspiration of where I wanted to go, I knew exactly what I had already in my catalog from going to Frank's that I could use in that moment. And I think I it looked that. amazing. I, it, I was. it was. It was so amazing. good, Johnny. It was so, so good. Um, I mean, but look at your hair. I mean, this looks pretty good. You said you didn't even know what to do. Once you take those out and fluff it up, you can even wet it all and diffuse it and make it really big. I think it looks really good. Yeah. You did pretty good for your first time. Hey. And you said you couldn't do it. Well, Sin, Sin tried to show me how to put this wig on, too. And when I tried to put it on by myself, it was like this. It was ah. like this. Let me tell you something, though, about, about your, your stylist. You have some amazing stylists in your, in your you know, you know on your, your contact. Cynthia is amazing. Yeah, she is she's the bomb. Good. I love her. Um, this girl can really do some hair. Jamal from... Um, Oh, Jamal's he's hair a, art too. He yeah. is a hair artist as well too. He does great, great They're natural hair. hair. Yeah. So that's one thing you have picked some amazing stylists to work with you. You really have. So you like my wig? I think your wig looks pretty good. Okay. I think you like your wig. <laughs> I can't hardly see this little picture. I don't know how to make it bigger. That's what I keep trying to do. Uh, I'll take a picture up and send it to you. How about that? No, I'm gonna see at the end. I'm gonna see it. There. Yeah, you'll see it at the end. It's okay. But it looks really, really good. Um, All right, so we did that. And see, this is... Oh, let me show you now. With this one, her hair is straight, of course. And she can do all types of things with this. But one of my favorite tools that I'm obsessed with right now, and I'm about to go get it. I'll show you guys. Yeah. I'm in love with this. Uh-huh. It's called mermaid hair. Mermaid hair. So I saw this on Instagram and I immediately said I gotta have one. I reached out to them on direct message and they sent me this. It's called mermaid hair. Now I know you're thinking like, oh, this is just a crimp iron, whatever, blah blah blah. blah. But look at this. What makes Whoa. the difference between this one is the size of the barrel. That's huge. So it's going to make that really nice, loose wave. And you can also throw a couple of curls in there yeah. to give you that really beachy, tousled feel. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed with this iron. It doesn't get too hot. And again, if you use it on the wig, it can get as hot as it wants, mm-hmm. right? You can use a little bit on the front, but just put it in like that. It will create a nice little beautiful wave in there. And then you will have that wave. And as it ages, it even looks better. So it's something that you can keep for a while, Yeah. okay? So go to Instagram, find mermaid hair, and get you one of these. They're not too expensive. They come in black and they come in pink. They're amazing. Fancy. Fancy, okay? Um, so that's what I would add if I was actually styling to put some waves in the hair and as it ages, of course, it looks even better. But I just wanted to show you how to put it on. Now let's get to the ponytail, okay? Woo! Okay. Now, wait, while we're doing this, Johnny, how did we meet? Let's see how you say how we met, and then I'm going to say how we met. Oh, God. I'm, I'm actually embarrassed, embarrassed by this every time I tell this story. So, I um I knew your face from TV, but I didn't know your name, mm-hmm. right? And so, a friend of mine from... um, And the thing is, it's like, you know, I was very... When I first moved back to L.A. from D.C., I was very cautious about what type of clientele I was building. And I wanted to make sure that I only wanted to take private clients, celebrities, all that kind of stuff. Because that's the realm in which I wanted to work in. Yeah. Every now and then, I worked in a salon just to keep it my practice, but it wasn't my thing. You know? I got, I got too old to work in a salon. <laughs> so, my a good friend of mine named Derek reached out to me, and he was like, 
hey, Derek is another stylist that you work with, and he's amazing. He's out in New York. He said, hey, I got my client, Angela Rye. She's going to be in L.A. She needs to need you to do her hair. And I was like, okay. But didn't it just didn't ring a bell to me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I kind of saw the text, and I didn't kind of really connect to it. And I think you you text me, mm-hmm. and it still wasn't making sense to me. And I was like, who? And I just, by, that, by the time I, like, just, I, 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 I ended up just forgetting to text you back. Which is something I never, never do. Did. I'm normally so prompt in texting. So then the the video came out with you uh, talking about Amorosa, <laughs> and I was like, I'm obsessed with this girl. Who is she? And then it was like Angela. I was like, Oh shoot, <laughs> that's Angela. <Rye." laughs> he was like, and That's I, why I try to tell people all the time. Like, I ain't no real celebrity. I'm like Tier Z. It's like, yo, yo, you're a celebrity girl. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's like tears. I was FaceTiming Tamar Braxton, Larry Sims, and my friend Wardell earlier. And they was like, What you got going on? They said, I'm doing this um, podcast. And Zoraida was like, Oh my God, we love her. All three Aww. of them. Like, we love her. She's hilarious. She's so good. That's so she, nice. They, 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 you be getting at them on CNN. <laughs> tell them, tell them I said thank you. Okay, we're back. Yeah, we're back they, to... they love you. So you're a real celebrity. No joke here. But that's how we met. I'm so thankful that I that you were open to me hitting you up about four weeks later after you texted me. <laughs> I even think I even think pretty much two or three days later after that I worked with you for the first time. Yeah. For, um, for that premiere. Yeah. Um, downtown. And then after that, we've been on and popping. I was, I was so hard for me we to be We still together. Back. Yes, we still together. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right. So now it's time for the ponytail, okay? Now I'm going to place this ponytail pretty high. Okay. Because I want to give it an easy transition into the top now, okay? Okay. All right. I need to go so put some water on this. You're going to need, huh? I need the water. Yes, you're going to need to wet it down. Wet her down. <laughs> okay, it's wet. Oh. I got waves too. My waves is popping. That was good. Mm-hmm. What you eating? Hey, chocolate butter almond. <laughs> you give me one. Mm-hmm. I always have them in my house. I love those. I have them too. I'm I'm going bike riding after this, so. You are? Yeah. Where? I might go to Koreatown from here. Be careful, John. Don't be playing in these streets. Make sure you don't go ride. If you ride with somebody, ride six feet apart. Oh, no, I'm riding by myself. Okay. (laughs) And, um, you know, the thing is, I, I wasn't doing any of that until they said it's okay to go running and biking and stuff. Where is the dog? He, JJ, JJ, come here. Everybody want to see you. Come here. Everybody want to see you. Uh, come over here. He's right here. Oh, look at this. He's so cute. He's a cutie thing. <laughs> hey, JJ. JJ, JJ, JJ you want to do a high ponytail? <laughs> <laughs> He's over there sleep on his post. That's what he loves to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> now he's like, I'm going to go here with you. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. You're doing a good job. And the reason why I said wet it is because you want to keep the heat out of here. So it needs to blow dry. Just go ahead and wet it and put Johnny, it out in the ponytail. You know now, what I don't know do if I... It, huh? You can. Don't try to make it perfect now. Just like you have it, take one of your hair ties. Yeah. And I like to use the hair ties that are elastic ties with, with material so that way it don't snag the hair. Yeah. I'll come closer so you all can see that. Yep, perfect. And just before you try to make it neat, hold it up there first. And then you're going to do a neat. Okay. Now, just do, just do like two turns, and that's it. She need so a steam treatment. She exactly need a steam treatment. Oh, well, we got you covered on that. So I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Joe Mannequin need one. Oh, <laughs> she get one too. <laughs> okay, wait, am I supposed to be spraying stuff back there? So yeah, water, get some more water and then spray. It's wet. And move Look. some more, yeah. Let me tell you, I don't know if I told you about the time, because you're talking about all these great hairstylists I've had. I've also had some nightmares. 
Did I tell you? Oh, no. Yes, I did. Did I tell you about um, the ponytail I got in the South? I won't say where to impugn anyone's character, but somewhere in the South. And they put like that. What's that wax that dudes put in their hair for waves? Oh, um. That uh, wax, that, Johnny. That thick yeah. wax. So I'm like. I can't give it a, um, uh, it's, a, it's called wave something. Anyway, sporting waves. Like that kind sporting of wax. Wave. It's like that. And the thing that was so crazy is my hair lays down with water. Do you know that girl went through my hair at each like layer and put the wax in there? What? Yes. So I don't remember. Maybe I didn't tell you because you were. No, you knew because then after that happened, right after that was Essence. And remember, I was still trying to get it washed out at Essence. Oh, yes. I so we used that. Dawn dishwashing liquid. We used. Um, baking soda. What else did I have to use? Like so much. You probably stuff. To use detergent. Detergent. The only thing that the only thing that ended up working is Mia. When I came back home, Mia is my cousin who's been styling my hair since I was a small child, y'all. But Mia was like, "Let me do this Olaplex treatment," and that's what finally got it all out. Mia's Mia's great. Mia came and worked with me on the show. Yes. Yes, and she was great. Okay, so you doing stuff on the edges I ain't doing. Let me go get one of them small combs. This is why I wanted to do this in the bathroom because I got to keep getting that. That comb's too big. Let me go get a little comb. Okay. I forgot my little, you know I love my little toothbrush thing. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, here's the question. What happened to this? Look at this comb. You see that? <laughs> then somebody stepped over the something. This looks crazy. Okay, so you do all the edges. Yep. And then you can go, you can take a little echo gel. See this here? I got the, um, I got, what do I got? Ultra defining diva curl gel. I ain't got That's no fine. Way. You can use that too. Anything that is that's going to help lay it down. Okay. And you can put it on the edges as well too. Use your, your brush or your small tooth comb, either one. I personally love doing ponytails from wet because it just makes it really nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Everybody's hair can't take it. Everybody's hair texture can't take it, but most people can. And mm -hmm. when you do have a some a texture of hair that is really easy to lay down with water, I, I say go for it. The what can you tell? Part. What can you tell the young ladies who are using the Dax wax? Dax wax, the uh, supporting wave wax. Isn't there something called Dax too? Anyway. Yeah, Dax used to be the bomb of pressing and curling back in the day. Can you tell yeah, the people that they don't need to use that wax? Tell them what else they can use, Johnny. They need help. You can use echo gel. You can use some type of edge control um, gel as well, too. Just a little. You know, a little goes a long way. But do way you put edge control all throughout your hair? No, you don't need to do that. Just on your edges. It's literally for your, your, your hairline. Too. That was crazy. The no, I would, if you're doing it from wet, I prefer to use mostly water. Yeah. And then do a little product on the edges. What'd you just spray? Was that more water? That was a little more water, yeah. Good. Now you got it, right? Now, yeah. here's the things I like to do. I have to use a bungee cord. I have this. one of those. I don't know how to use it, but I'm going to try. Here go my. Okay, bungee cord there. Excellent. It has the hooks on both ends. So basically what you do is you go in and you place it. The hook in there. See, the hook is in. Okay, it's in. And wrap it around. But hold it down with one with the other finger until it gets... See, that keeps going. But what I love about this is it gets it nice and smooth and nice and taut. Where it's not too he tight, but it's tight. real tight. tight. That's what he means, y'all. He means real tight. <laughs> and it's done. That was really simple. I don't know if mine is done. Okay. And once, once it's all the way in, you can go and start making it even more neater. If you find if you find yourself having a little some some lumps. 
take the end of the comb and go underneath and just go 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 back with it oh. and then smooth, smooth that lump out. Do I have lumps? I can't see. I can't really see either. So nobody else will either. So no, you don't have lumps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you now, let me show you a little trick. If you don't have a um, bungee cord, you could just take a hair tie. Oh, you love those. Tie. I have some of these in here from you somewhere. And put a Barbie pin on each side. Mm -hmm. See that? And basically how this will work is you can stick it in like that. Do the same little wrapping around technique. And then on the opposite side, you stick it in as well too. And you get the same amount of tightness and smoothness as you would get it with the bungee cord. Just that simple. Need some baby hair. Oh, you love baby hair. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You love you baby hair. Oh, you got it in the knot already. You got it in the top knot already. No, it's just here. Oh, she don't have enough hair. I didn't know. Yeah, she don't have. You got plenty of hair. I have. I have to add some hair to it. All right. I'm gonna add some too. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm about to use the the nappy hair piece that you gave me. Oh, that's great. I love our hair. Where is it? Guys, that is nappy with a K. I love K it. N A P P Y. Nappy hair. Here it goes. That's the bag, but I gotta find it. Here's the bag right here. Yes, awesome. But now Our hair is amazing. This is fun. I haven't done any hair in a while. I'm enjoying this. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, I like to try to bring you back to your first love, Johnny. It is my first. It'll probably be my last, too. <laughs> Let's talk about that. What's that about? What you talk about? And I'm just standing. I mean, I, hair is always would be like, you know, my love. Oh, okay. So you yeah. Yeah. No, 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 nothing for me right now. <laughs> oh, here goes another wig. You have another wig? Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's bomb. Yeah. Who's that from? I don't know. Well, I only got, we only got two wigs from Extensions Plus, right? I know, but I'm trying to figure out. Did we? Yeah, this is another Extensions Plus wig. I don't know who that's from, but it's a wig. Mm hmm. You know, I don't know. But I'm mad because now I can't find... Oh, here it goes, here it goes. I found it. This is it. Bam. This was a good look, too. This is the um, ponytail. You used this piece as a ponytail for... Oh, the, yeah. When I did the Tyler Perry interview at Essence. At Essence, that, that was a fun look. That was a really fun I look. I don't know that I can pull this off, Johnny. This might take you, because this is like a whole piece. It's not just a ponytail. Well, then you got to put your own hair in a ponytail, a bun. Okay. But it, like you could you could you either do it like that or or you could braid it first. So braid it first, like smaller. the last one, but higher up. Yeah. Okay. I'm learning all the tricks today. You know I'm still scared to do this because I'd be to walk down the street somewhere that thing blew off sideways, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Sorry, y'all, I didn't, I did it myself. Johnny didn't do this one." Well, the good thing about it is you don't really care. Right? Like that. that is true. If, you know, I was when when um you did that that weave. I was telling people I was like, this is not my hair. And then when I have a wig on, I'll be like, oh, they'll be like, oh, your hair is so nice. I'll be like, oh, it's a wig. <laughs> I just don't want to be <laughs> lying to people. So basically, what I did was I took the tracks of hair and I just wrapped it around and pinned as I went with hairpins. And the hairpins look like this, guys. Everybody get confused with hairpins and barbie pins. Hair pins I like, like these are... ones. Where is the, you know, the little straight ones that don't even have the ridges? I like those the best. Where are those? Those are like wig pins, though, huh, Johnny? These. I'm going to show you. Let me see. Where they don't have the ridges? Yeah, those are for wigs. Those are for, and those are for hair art as well, too. They're great. You can use I them. I love these. But, yeah, those are great. I do, too. I love those, too. Okay, so this piece, how am I going to put this on? Now, 
What you're gonna do is put that over the top. So that this this, and then in the back, what you're gonna do is take it and fold it. So Johnny, it you're in. too close. Huh? You too close. I can't see what you're doing. You said take it and fold it. Let me see if I got. I can kind of demonstrate it with a wig. So let me show you here. So if I had this wig, I'll put it on top here, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll fold it in the back and then pin. And that way it becomes a ponytail. You see that? Like that? Yep. And you can pin it on the sides, pin it in the front. There, pin it on the sides here. Woo. And you want to use a, a lot of pins. Be careful with the scalp, though. You know I just hollered about that. I don't think I did my ray. It feels Practice like, makes perfect. It's like the pins are slipping out, and I feel like it look crazy. It don't look that bad, actually. It don't look too bad. But the Put fact that you said it don't look that bad. No, I mean, it don't look bad. And But but look, you, you see how you were able to make your wig into a ponytail? You folded it, and then you would go underneath, and you could pin more and pin oh, more. Oh, underneath there. What yeah. about the little comb piece? Maybe the little comb piece, too? Yeah, cup that, cup that in. Oh, if it's a comb piece on top, cut that into the ponytail, and then cuff around and pin. But see, that just made that wig a ponytail. Okay, that one is going to need some help. But yes, that's good. So we did a high ponytail. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one out. Then I'm going to show you how to do a top knot. Okay. A fun top knot. Fun top knot. Johnny, how long have you been doing hair? Tell the people. I've been doing hair for 30 years. Woo. Long time. Since you were 12? Yes, since I was 12. My grandmother was a hairstylist. She was taught on the Madam C.J. Walker, which, by the way, I just saw last night, Self Made, yeah. on Netflix with Octavia Spencer yep. and Blair Underwood and uh, uh, Tiffany Haddish. It's mm -hmm. amazing! Yeah, I it's saw amazing. it um, over the weekend. I love Madam C.J. Walker's story. And Me too. Just, I mean, not even just for hair, but like what she meant, what she means for black women, entrepreneurship, especially right now. She was a beast. But black women are the highest growing group of, of entrepreneurs in the country. And so for that sure. to come out and like just, you know, maybe even encourage people to keep going when they get discouraged is like a thing. Oh, wait, we supposed uh, to leave the hair back on? Huh? I need to put in. Oh, no, you can, you can do it with your own hair. You can do it with your own hair. Okay. I'm going to put this in a plastic bag. This is how I store my wig. This is not Johnny's preferred method, but this <laughs> yeah, I put that in there. Except for the I, ones that are I, on the hangers from the manager. Huh? Daniel yeah, Mock and um, Lisa Ray, they have, they have wig and weave closets where it's all hanging all nicely like you could do your blouses. Jesus, I have some hangers, but they I don't have that many to have no whole weave closet. Yeah. Hang it up. Okay, Hang so up. what I'm doing now is I took this piece, right? Mm -hmm. If it's your hair, if you add it here, I'm taking it, breaking it into two, and now I'm going to double strand twist it. Well, is my hair long enough to do that? Maybe I should get a piece. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you, look at this. You see that? This is what the quarantine is meant to me. I can't go to no nail shop neither. Oh, God. My girl will come to your house, but I don't know if you want her to right now. I think she need to stay in quarantine. You ain't about to get me caught up. <laughs> but wait, so you think I should do it with my hair? So braid it yeah. into and then... <laughs> Because your hair's already poofy, and just, that's why you use the hair on this ponytail. Because I didn't want to have to... And so basically what I'm doing is going to go ahead and pull a little bit just to loosen this up a little bit to give it a little more texture. Yeah. I'm holding the bottom real nice and taut. And then I'm going to pull to give it just a little more texture. And I'm going to simply take... Yeah, you can do two or you can do one. That's actually good. I thought you said and two braids and then twist it into one. 
Look, okay, I'll do exactly what you did then. Let me switch it up. No, tell me what to do. I'm learning here. I'm the No, rookie. that's actually good. Let's do it that way. I like that. Okay, I gotta have something to hold on to this. Do I need to go get some more rubber bands? Nope. Mm. I mean, you can, but you don't need, I don't think you need it. I'm just putting bobby pins at the end right now. Okay. You so don't have yours, to, is, I think. yours is not braids. That's a twist, Johnny. It is. Two strand twist. I thought you said braided. No, two strand, you're going to do it in the two strand twist. All right. And then pull to give it a little more texture. But you can wrap it as soon as you, that's why you don't necessarily need the pin. Well, I thought I was merging them together. So do we just do we do we still mess this up or we let it go regular? You can have just pull the tug out a little bit. I'll show you once I do this one. Yes. We'll go to the top. It's okay if it's like a little flyaway, that's totally fine. Okay. And then put it up. How tight do I pin it? As tight or as loose as you want to. You're creating this look. Okay, I'm creating this look. Creating this look. Create this look for no way to see this look. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the bun you did for my birthday. I know. This is what I did for your birthday. Oh. That was a good look. I might need well, to look do at that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take it and just take some pins and, and shape it up a little bit to be more symmetric. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the double strand twist will give it that texture and it looks like it kind of looks like it's really constructed and going all type of different ways, which really gives you that artistic feel to it. But it's really simple. I just messed that up. And I think that's a cute little date night. Date night. Date night in. You can't go nowhere. Quarantine date oh, night. Oh, that's Look at cute, that. Johnny. Now, I don't know how mine going to look because I had, this was too You know, it's not looking bad, though. It looks, it looks, I, like, I like that style already. You do? Yeah, it's looking good. It's, you know, it's nice to be, like, tousled and kind of, like, effortless and free. Is this something to make you look cute? Put on a little makeup and you fine. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. No, we not wham, bam, and thank you, ma'am, and around here. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Look at that. That looks cute. What happened back here? I see something. So you take it and you pin it somewhere. Just take it and pin it somewhere. That's what I was doing. Like, you can take it and, like, pin it, pin it down. You can make it a little... You can either pull at it to make it even... Get more texture. You can pull it and play with it and make it bigger. Let me, um, I right. want to get a mirror thing. Hold on. This right needs this. Okay. Let me get this. You know them hairstyles where people be having a little, whoop, almost died off the chair. Where people be having a little, uh, mine does not look like yours. What the hell did I do? This thing, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? When people be having the long things all the way back, it look like that. Like, I don't know what I did. Whatever that, that feels out of place, just take the pen. Listen, this is what you do. Let me show you something. So if it's out of place, right, let's say this is out of place. See that? You see this right here? Yeah. I'm going to take the pin at the tip of the place and then just tuck it in. Well, I need to tuck in a whole piece so that I make it look like a bun and not a twist. I mean, I don't know what the devil I just did. And here's another one here. I'll take it and bring it in. I just went to the tip of the piece that was out. Johnny, mine is tragic. It's not tragic. It ain't. It ain't cute. 
You gotta get all the edges and stuff in the back there. The all back that. is messed up too. I'm talking about the front. Look at the front. I can't see really good. <laughs> get that piece right there. I need to get all the pieces. <laughs> Here's a good thing about it. You can always take it down and start over and replace it. I definitely need to take it down and start over and replace it. And then get the back laying down with some gel or some holding spray even. Yeah. I need to I need to lay it down some. You know what I need? <laughs> this is where is my little brush? My, I love a regular old toothbrush, but this would be fun. That thing is great. I love this. That's good. It really lays it down nicely. Huh? I said it really lays it down nicely. Yeah. I love that. Um Oof, this top knot needs some work. Oh, I got hair all over my face. Um, so what else could we tell them? What's the parting words for the people? What can all right, so the last thing, and honestly, I feel like the most important thing I want to talk about, and I'll leave the hair like this, is this is a perfect opportunity to nourish and hydrate your hair. Yeah. And again, keep as much heat off your head as possible. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite go-tos for hydration and for treatment is steam treatment. And what I love about the steam treatment is it is infusing moisture in your hair with moisture. Yeah. So you get that high intensity of hydration that you would not normally get if you just sat under the dryer. Okay? Yeah. And a lot of people don't have steam, you know, hooded steams at home. You can actually find them on Amazon. They're not too expensive. Ooh. You can get a tabletop hooded steamer that you can sit under and let it steam your face. It's great for your skin and it's also great for your hair. But if you don't have that, the best thing to do is get a hand towel, okay? You're gonna soak this with water and you're gonna place it in the microwave for 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes? One 30, I was like 30 seconds. Child, right? you about to light to a, somebody's house on. I know. 30 seconds to 30 seconds to a minute, you're going to leave it in. Once it, it dings, you don't want to grab it with your natural hand. You want to take a tongue, because you'll be in the kitchen. Take a tongue, bring it out, grab with the tongue, and then let it out just a little bit before you wrap it over your head. And you will see the steam coming out of the towel and also penetrating into your hair. You do that a couple of times and you'll have your steam treatment. Use your favorite mask, whatever that mask is, or conditioner. Put that on. Make sure you saturate the hair really well with conditioner. Put that on. Do that about a couple of times. I say two to three times, and then you're done. Ooh. I'm gonna Just do that, that simple. I'm going to do that today. Johnny Wright, yeah, you are... Hmm? Definitely do a steam treatment. You are you. a master stylist, a great <laughs> friend. You ain't hardly cracked no jokes today, which I can't believe. Did I not? Oh <laughs> you guys, Johnny normally is cracking all the jokes. And the only other thing we're missing is snacks, cocktails, and the Blue Six Station. You know we didn't play Blue, Blue Six either. The Blue Six Station. No, we didn't play Blue Six. We, we got to, I have, have them add one. some music. We'll have to add, have them add some music. But this is great. And, um, I don't know, Johnny. This is really good. They might want an encore. We might have to figure this out again. We might have to do another one. Yeah. I might have to really, I might have to really show them how to use this mermaid waiver. I this know. Awesome. I'm scared this of that. I have, so cool. I have a thing, but I don't know how to use it. And then I have another thing I'm going to show you I don't know how to use. You know, I'd be going into Target and all these places buying stuff and don't know how to use it. You know what this would be cool? What? If we do another one, the encore would be Gather all those things that you purchased because you thought it was on a whim, and then we learn how to use them. Hey. That's what we should do. <laughs> Maybe people should should, should um, comment below and say that this is what they want to learn how to use that they bought years ago or even a couple of weeks ago. They mm -hmm. bought it on an infomercial, QVC, HSN, mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to use it properly. What's the best way to use it? I can help you guys out. Bam. Johnny just developed his spinoff at the pilot. We got the pilot and he got to spin off. Because I ain't about to sit through all y'all's comments on all the stuff you don't know how to use. And Johnny has all that in his hair closet at home. Trust and believe. I have everything. <laughs> I have a beauty supply up in this bitch. Exactly. Oh, no, you fine. You fine. It's, it's regular. It ain't going on Word Network. We okay. 
Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Johnny, thank you so much for your time today. I cannot this was wait. Fun. It was fun. It was fun. I, I'm grateful. And please stay safe and healthy and take care of JJ for me. You know, that's my homie. Absolutely. The good thing about it is the dogs can't get it. So I'm happy about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll let JJ play with everybody. But <laughs> I'm about to do some yoga. And then later on, I'm making me some tacos because it's Taco, taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Period. I don't know. This, this ain't going to drop on Taco Tuesday, but this is Taco Tuesday when we record it. Praise the Lord, exactly everybody. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks, Angela. Bye, Johnny. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.